complex to say the least. Uh, we're 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 working on our playbooks probably more than ever right now. Uh, just just to try to get a feel for this. Uh, this is a very upgraded offense from last year, uh, as you guys may have seen a little bit. Uh, the quarterbacks are already clicking. The routes are we, we will probably put in six to seven more routes than, than last year already. So with that being said, though, we're, we're, the receivers are having to get together. Uh, not during practice, but after, just to try to get everything in as far as studying, uh, studying the playbook, and you know, working on timing. Does that bring you guys closer together? That you're all kind of in the same boat, trying to learn sure. a new complex yeah. offense. For sure, because you know, uh, we're we're a bunch of young guys already. So uh, with that being said, I mean, we've been here, we've been in the mix for, for at least two years now. So all of us, uh, all of us already have good relationships established. But uh, with this new offense, we we're finding we're just seeing this as like more of a challenge. And uh, you know, you know, the Juice Boys, we, we love challenges. So that's one of the biggest things I, I believe we'll be able to overcome in spring ball is, is the new offense. And and as you see already, I mean, we're, we're already uh, not many people are making mistakes, and and we're progressing a lot faster than than we thought. We would, but, uh, How do you like the new coach? I love him. I mean, he's he's more vocal. He's he's more energetic. He's uh he's more of a hands-on guy. And uh, I think that's what we needed. We needed somebody to just take charge of uh, our receivers because you know we're we're a bunch of individuals, a bunch of cra we're a crazy crazy group of guys. So we needed somebody to just take charge, take us by the reins, and say, "Look, you have to do you have to do something this way to be successful." And I think that's what we're doing right now. How he much does a pretty good resume? How much did that help get your all's attention? Oh man, I mean, we we knew he was legit just by the way he talked. But <laughs> but with that, but also I mean, uh, we we did a little background history on him and. Uh, I mean, everything, everything adds up. He's the perfect guy for us right now, and I think Coach Deuce did, uh, did a hell of a job with that. Do you like having a, a coach who uh, takes shots at your rivals? Is that, <laughs> I, fun? Is that fun? I love it. I love it because, you know, we, we like to, talk, we like to talk, talk mess as well, so I, I love it because I, I feel like we feel like he's, he's one of the guys that, that's, like, more, more on our side. You know, he, at the end of the day, he just wants us to be successful, and, and he's going he's gonna to put us in a position that, you know, uh, that, that are best helpers. So I believe he's, he's a perfect case for us. Is he is he a big technique guy? Is he showing you different techniques you haven't learned before? Oh, or is he a big yeah. effort guy? What, what kind of coach is all, he? All, all the above. Uh, he, he's big on effort. Effort is number one. It, it's, 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 not, it's not a given because, I mean, you can't, you can't compromise on effort. That, that's first things first. Uh, play receiver in SEC. Uh, if you're not going hard, then you shouldn't even be out there. So uh, because the guy, the guy lined up across you, I mean, he, he, he's not giving up. He's not giving up anything either. So effort, efforts are given, but uh, also technique. I mean, he's teaching us things. We're doing drills uh, after practice, before practice, that that we've honestly never done as, as receivers. You know, coming throughout uh, high school and and as long as we've been here at college, we, we've never even seen before. So I mean, he, you can tell, you know, he knows a lot of stuff. He knows what, what's going on, and, um, and and he shows a lot of confidence when he's teaching us. So I mean, we're we're behind him 100 as he's behind us. Coming off those wet shirt seasons, what are Taven and Jabari sort of adding into your man? That's a great, that's a great group of guys right there. I mean, Taven, he's playing, playing X now with me, and he, you see him. He's a big body, big solid guy, a uh, big country boy. So you know, he knows how to, you know, work around a defender. You know, uh, push, push and shove. Uh, Jabari, he, he's more built like me, slender frame, um, go and get it, make difficult catches. So I mean, those, those are just, uh, those are just, uh, you know, pieces of the puzzle that you know you really can't put a value on because they, they, they have extreme talent. You feel rebirth in terms of your, of where you are right now. Guy that you think you can be. Man, I'm re I'm ready to go. I mean, I'm rejuvenated. Uh, I feel like I feel like this this uh, off season has been too long already. Just just because uh, the standards we have and 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 the ability we have in the, in, the, in the receiver room. Because uh, as you may know, I mean, five and seven. I, I guess I guess it is what it is. But uh, we know we're, we're we're so much more better than that. And as far as like from the offensive side of the ball, we can control what only we can control. So uh, drops, uh, techniques, route running, getting off, getting off releases. I mean, that, that should be that should be no more worries for, for 2016. We we should take positive strides. We shouldn't have to look back and be like, yeah, we got to work on this. I think this year we should just take off and, and, and do what we know how to do. Well, like Coach Grant said that everyone's bought in, and, and the day he got here, he said they're going to have to buy in and have a choice. But he's real pleased with that. What was that process like for you guys? Was that gradual, or were you hungry for this, or what? Uh, we we were hungry because uh, we've been waiting for somebody to, to come in. I mean, as you know, uh, the previous OCs, uh, we we thought they were long term guys, but at the end of the day, you know, it didn't it didn't go that way. So when he when he first came in, we were we were hungry for something for something different, anyways. And when he first came in, he came in, you know, loud loud in your face, and it kind of took us off guard. We was like, oh man, is this man serious? Like this ain't the way to, you know went o went over uh, a bunch of a group of new guys. 
So uh, with that being said, though, I mean, he came. We, we started buying into what what he was what he was saying. We started practicing what he was teaching us, and next thing you know, we started clicking. And, and this is too early for me to start about, uh, talk about clicking, but I feel like I feel like we're we're in a, a big a big step uh, forward. So if you weren't sure about it at first, what changed? Uh, I mean, we got together and uh, we, we sat down with LT. And LT told us straight up, he was like, uh, Coach Lamar Thomas, that's what we call our receivers coach. He told us straight up, he was like, look, if you guys want to do this, um, the talent, the talent's given. I mean, you guys are here for a reason. Uh, we got we got everybody in the book we need. And he was like, he told us, he was like, if you guys want to do this, we got we to gotta put our heads in, in all in one direction and, and pull for each other. And I feel like at times last year, we had we had people going straight into different courses. We had, you know, uh, we struggled inside the team, and, and which was unacceptable. But this year, I mean, it's, it's a whole new approach, and, and I believe that, you know, if we put all our heads in one, in one place, I mean, no, no one's really gonna stop us. Last question: Do you think you learned from the struggles inside the team, and maybe have to work together in order to be successful and not have another yeah. starting seven season? I believe I believe so uh, because uh, the struggles the struggles have all just taught us uh, different things. I mean. Um, Learning coming off a of five and seven, uh, five and seven season last year, we know we know what what has to be done to win, and we know at the end of the day that we didn't we didn't do all the little things we had to do, and this is why we're working our asses off this year just to just to make sure that you know no one's perfect, but we're gonna be down there close. Well,